There's something you don't see every day. An election that shook the establishment to its core. America just witnessed the most dramatic political comeback in history, and it's nothing short of remarkable. Trust me. In this video, we're getting into how Trump's victory very quickly has reshaped the country and the principles guiding America's future. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, smack that notification bell, and click the like button because it helps us with the algorithm so that we can get our message out to more people. Also, we do live streams every Friday night at 6 Eastern. We read interesting news stories of the week. We tweak them with a bit of humor, a dash of sarcasm, and a whole lot of conservative common sense. Join us this coming Friday. You'll have a good time. All right, let's get right into this. This isn't just another win in the political arena of ideas, guys. This is a seismic shift that's leaving everyone from the deep state to big tech scrambling. Trump didn't just return to office. He came back with a vengeance, making history in a way that no Republican has in decades. And yes, this really is the beginning of a golden age of America. Now, here's the thing. This movement isn't just about Trump or the Republican Party, less the Republican Party. What we're seeing here is a wave of Americans rallying behind the core values that built this nation. You know, Democrats and the leftists tried to pin Project 2025 on Trump, even though Trump repeatedly said that he never read it, that he wants nothing to do with it, even though USA Today did a fact check on it and said that Project 2025 has nothing to do with Trump and it was created by the Heritage Foundation. They keep saying it. But what all these people never talked about was what was really in Project 2025. Not the stuff that the Democrats lied about saying was in there, not realizing that anybody could go and read it online for free. You know, like there's no abortion ban listed in Project 2025, but Kamala Harris kept pushing that idea. A lot of other Democrats were as well, but it's a lie. No, there is none of the goofy stuff that the live nuts say are inside Project 2025. Project 2025 basically says this, that America was built with core values. And the core values were based on the Judeo-Christian way of life and the constitutional principles that were delivered to us by our founding fathers. Now, unfortunately for the left, there are still a majority of Americans who believe in those core values. And Trump's promise, he said he wants to fight for you, to fight for your family, and to fight for your future every single day. It's a promise that's already turning heads around the world. Now think about that, a mandate that could reshape America's entire future. No more guilt trips by leftists, no more globalist ideas preyed upon local children in schools. This wasn't just a victory, guys. It was a blowout. It was a rout. With 71 million votes, Trump didn't just secure the popular vote. He captured it with a margin that sent shockwaves. Republicans not only held the Senate, but expanded it, securing 54 seats. In the House, they're gaining ground, too. None of the dopey left-wing billionaire donors could have stopped this wave from coming. And here's the question. Was it ever just about Trump? That was a big mistake that the left made during this campaign. And Donald Trump, the whole time, kept telling them that it wasn't about him. It was about us, the American people. But the surprises don't end there. Perhaps the most surprising part was the demographics that shifted. Trump saw an unprecedented surge in Latino and black voters with huge gains in places like New Jersey, a Democratic blue stronghold forever. In Michigan, he took the Latino vote by an incredible 25 points. You might think the left would see this coming, but it seems they underestimated a massive shift in values among minority voters because they always believed that they were beholden to them. They were dependent on them. Now, minority voters were lied to by the Democratic overlords for decades, the Democrats told them that they loved them and that they would do all kinds of things for them that they never really did, but that they loved them and they would do them. And that's all the people knew growing up. It was generational. They told them that the conservatives and the Republicans were evil racists who hated them because of the color of their skin. It was never true, but they're very good at lying. It's what Democrats do. But these people still had within them the love of country, the love of community, the love of fellow man, enough to have it stirred again when being exposed to the America First movement that Trump started. The Democrats never even realized what was happening until it was just too late. 
And the America First movement welcomes these people with open arms. Let's take it a step further. Across Europe, younger generations are embracing nationalist populist movements, defying every expectation that Gen Z would just go along with the progressive playbook. Here's a shocker. We thought that it was going to be the millennials, but it's Gen Z that could be the most conservative generation on record. I've said this before, and it's not just Gen Z. Voters from all walks of life are uniting around common values, ones that the establishment has pushed aside for far too long because those common values make it so that the people don't have to be dependent on them. They don't need government. They don't need the establishment. Guys, this is bigger than an election. It's a wake-up call. A growing coalition that is being referred to as the normie realignment is saying enough is enough. They're pushing back against identity politics and calling for a return to decency, faith, and yes, the age-old American dream. This new American era, it's happening whether the establishment likes it or not. This realignment is happening on a global scale, guys. Voters in the U.S. and beyond are stepping up, rejecting radical ideologies they see as eroding the very foundations of society. Trump's agenda? Strong borders, energy independence, reforming the deep state, getting rid of them. It isn't just popular, it's a mandate to restore order in a world that feels increasingly out of control. So if you're wondering whether this is just another news cycle, guess again. And now, with a clear directive from the American people, this administration is setting out to end what they're calling the epidemic of woke madness. It's about putting America's interests first, pushing back against a radical minority, and bringing back a sense of unity. America's founding principles are back on the table, and the country is stepping boldly into a future that champions those ideals. It's going to be a great future, guys. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with everything that's happening in this new American era. I'll see you in the next one. Spread the word.